I like to talk about the authors that I liked when I was in Japan. Uh, his name is Tanizaki, Junichiro Tanizaki. Uh, I remember uh, when I was in probably high school or maybe college um, years that uh, when I was, you know, about 20 years old, I was reading his short stories, and uh, one I I I uh, read. I really liked. Uh, I think it's very intriguing, and uh, it's it's not like a, a traditional Japanese style uh, writing. It's more or less like um, a very uh, pleasure-seeking, um, uh, you know, sadism, masochism type of thing, and uh, kind of sexual. And uh, but uh, it's very. I think at, at that time already I felt like a, um, he he's a great writer. He was a great writer. And so um, when I came to the US, uh, I kind of missed his uh, um, books. And also I was talking to other uh, American people, American students, uh, about regarding, you know, what type of Japanese book do you recommend what type of Japanese book you, you know, I like and so forth. Uh, I was telling them that uh, I like Tanizaki's and especially the one called The Seven Japanese Tale. Uh, in this one, I got uh, this particular book, uh, not this version, I think a former version, but much a smaller version, I would say. Um, and uh, I was glad that I got that book when I came to the U.S. and I was showing other people that this book is great and that you have to read it and, and so forth. And then, and then um, um, I read uh, Tanizaki's uh, Makioka Sisters, which is a big, thick book, which is enjoyable. And, but that's about it. And I, I, oh, but in this one, uh, I remember vividly like uh, two stories. Um, uh, one is called uh, uh, Tattoo Tattooist. Uh, I think yeah, and it's about uh, this young woman who are getting tattooed by this man, and uh, um, you know he he's very he's a very very good artist of tattoo. And uh, so uh, she goes there, and I think several sessions, maybe I don't know, maybe one session. Um, but uh, toward the end, uh, she gets uh, more or less like uh, sexually aroused, and uh, but uh, uh, no, nothing sexual thing between them, just tattooing thing, and when. Uh, she uh, stood up and uh, saw her tattoo and that's the end of it and it's a, a beautiful beautiful story the other one I remember especially is that uh, the boy has a friend yeah no, yeah boy is about probably 10 years old or maybe 13 a uh, friend who is older girl and uh, she is, is, she was showing him uh, about this candle. And I don't remember the details of it, but the candle is uh, um, holding, you know, and then the candle's uh, frames goes down, down, and then all the, the candle materials are uh, getting down to your fingers. and. And uh, so uh, that was like a very, very strong and uh, uh, again, it's kind of a sexual one too. And so this time, uh, after reading Soseki Natsume, I thought, wow, you know, the mold was kind of a difficult, so um, I should uh, read some, something else a little bit. So I, I got into this Penguin book of Japanese short stories, and this is edited by Jay Rubin famous uh, Haruki Murakami's uh, translator. And so first one is called uh, The Story of Tomura and Matsunaga.
by Tanizaki. And uh, this, bar, this one is translated by Paul Warham, um, not translated by um, editor Jay Rudin. But, uh, so I started to read, and uh, this is about uh, 60, 62, six, about 60 pages of a story of this, which is a long, uh, more or less, uh, for the short story. And, um, but a very uh, intriguing story about um, uh, this author, I think Tanizaki probably, uh, received this letter from uh, somebody um, he doesn't know, and, uh, but it's a very, very well written um, letter asking him some favor from this author. And um, so he was intrigued, and uh, uh, so it turned out that uh, this particular uh, the, uh, the woman is a wife, and uh, who has a husband who disappear every few years and come back, and uh, as normal. And so, but he she found uh, among. Uh, his belonging after he came back, the this author's uh, the postcard or something like that in there. So she contacted this author to find out if uh, he knows anything about uh, her husband's whereabouts and whatever. So he got intrigued and he. He uh, <coughs> uh, also knows somebody else, this author knows somebody else who um, also did the same thing. He, he, he is one of, one of this author's friends who um, uh, disappear every, every few years and uh, however um, you know, he is, uh, um, he comes back after a few years and, and uh, wow, you know, this is kind of similar to, uh, to the case of, of my friend. And so he got intrigued and he's, he tried to identify the years that he disappeared and so forth. And he uh, definitely, when this um, woman's husband disappeared, this friend is nearby him and, uh, you know, drinking together, just socializing. When the husbands go home to, to this woman's uh, the house and uh, uh, then this particular friend disappeared. Wow, wow that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's something that I have to know, you know. <laughs> so um, he started to investigate, interviewing both of them, uh, if he had a chance, first interview this friend. And this friend is like a very, very pleasure-seeking, boisterous, fat, uh, almost like an a ambience of uh, uh, some, of, uh, some of the not the Japanese character. It's uh, more or less like a, some um, outside person who had been around in Europe or or some kind of Asia uh, all over the place and knows about things and a very uh, happy-go-lucky person and uh, so he asked well uh, you know I received this letter in the um, um, you know kind of a looking at this and uh, you um, you 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 appear when he disappeared and you disappear when he appeared there. And so, oh gosh, what kind of thing is that? And uh, what tremendous uh, coincidence maybe, but you know, and so he dismissed that. But anyway, so it's about that story and uh, very different from the feeling I was getting when I was reading Natsume Soseki. And Natsume's uh, fiction is like uh, um, very serious, uh, intriguing, 
um, psychological uh, story and uh, uh, I like that you know very um, I would say sincere writing but Tarizaki's I would say it's more like a um, you know the always I think he depicts more or less like a pleasure seeking lifestyle and uh, so when I was reading Tanizaki this particular story I uh, I felt like wow you know so different I kind of really miss the Soseki's seriousness and um, yeah, yeah wow but it was so intriguing uh, to read this particular book by Tanizaki and so I finished and uh, I am satisfied uh, but then I, I really felt like I missed uh, Soseki, so I started to read the uh, I Am A Cat, the thick book. <laughs> now, and, uh, but I go back with Tanizaki definitely because I have this book, uh, I, uh, other than those two stories, uh, among the seven um, short stories, uh, I don't remember the, you know, five of them, so I have to read this. So I'm going to go back to read this one, but uh, uh, so it's about um, how different uh, these works and uh, each one is very enjoyable, very readable, very interesting, but the feeling you get uh, is so different and I think it's kind of jarring, you know, so scary. Uh, Soseki and uh, Tanizaki and uh, uh, so it, it doesn't mix, I wouldn't say it mix and uh, so I have to keep a distance from each other and I think that's uh, pro probably each uh, authors have very typical um, you know this um, aura or atmosphere or some kind of a, a strong intentions of by the authors uh, doesn't mix with the other authors so that's why how I, I read books is like I I read all of us one particular author's book first and then I go to next authors if I like them okay and uh, so uh, I think that's a very good way because when I liked this particular author during the my in, infatuation with this author all, almost all the book of this particular author is very interesting and very enjoyable to me and uh, so I think that's how I started uh, you know Haruki Murakami first and then uh, Kazuo Ishiguro and um, in a sense like uh, uh, Yamakuan too a little bit I got into Yamakuan for a while but I haven't read his all the, his fiction, he has hundreds of fictions there and uh, but um, all the other uh, you know like Steinbeck and uh, um, Hemingway, Scott Fitzgerald it's all you know you if you like the one of the one of their books you really like to read the other books as well and uh, that's how I, I read books and uh, I think I kind of interesting but uh, um, yeah I think more focused I think I, I would say so I think that's my few cents today I strongly recommend that you read uh, Tanizaki I think uh, this was a good introduction I have been telling them for uh, for like a you know 50 years about uh, uh, this particular greatness of this particular book this is uh, uh, seven Japanese Tales by Junichiro Tanizaki. Okay, bye.